fuel, piston rings, honing. Why do we talk about these things all the time? Well, the reality is they all play a role in ring seal soup. What's that you say? Well, the piston ring, the cylinder walls, they all have to work together. It's not like a steak dinner where you have the steak and then the potatoes and then broccoli or something like that. And if you don't like one of them, you don't have to eat them. With ring seal, all of them have to work together. It's like soup. Either you like the soup or you don't like the soup. You can't put one part of it aside and then eat the rest of it. So when you think about the fuel, the oil, the hone, the pistons, the rings, they all have to work together to create that soup, to create the seal that gives your engine power. Without good ring seal, you don't have power. We talk about this all the time. So why do we make such a big deal about it? Can, how much power is there really in this ring seal soup? Well, if you go back and watch the video series that Stapleton 42 did on my dad's old NASCAR engine, ring seal was worth at least 200 horsepower. That's right, 200 horsepower. After sitting for 18 years, that engine was down over 200 horsepower. We didn't find any broken parts in the entire engine. What we did find was some cylinders that had been really worn out and some rust and some things in the ring lands where there was pieces of that rust in the ring land that was hurting the ring seal. The engine had high blow-by, over 10 CFM blow-by. When we put that engine back together, honed it all up, modernized it, it made upwards of 300 horsepower more. Now we upgraded the valve train, upgraded the rings and pistons. So guess what? Let's give all the modernization that 100 horsepower more than it made originally. That still means the other 200 horsepower was all about ring seal. That's why we talk about this so much. There's a ton of power, a ton of durability on offer if you get the recipe right to make good ring seal soup. So how do you do it? Well, the key is you gotta make sure that you're getting the correct hone that has enough valley in it to hold the proper amount of oil depending upon how much fuel you put through the engine. I'm gonna give you some numbers. The RVK, that's the valley that holds the oil, on dad's engine when it came apart was down in the 20s, very low. When we rehoned it and put it back together, we had it up to the 50s. So we went from a valleys of the 20s up to the 50s. What do we do? We're holding more oil. Oil is the gasket and the lubricant. Better ring seal because we had more oil held on the cylinder wall through those deeper valleys. And that was a gasoline engine. Now, if we had a boosted engine or an engine running methanol, those valleys need to be much deeper. There are some diesel guys out there running compound turbos, tons of diesel making 3,000 horsepower on diesels. Those valleys are up to 150. So the idea is the more fuel you put through the engine, the deeper the valleys you have to have to hold the proper amount of oil to maintain that ring seal. So what you want to do is make sure you fine tune your recipe, your ring seal soup to your application. The more fuel you put at it, the more value you need. So the Total Seal Surface System, that bundle of the profilometer and the microscope lets you see and measure your cylinders to make sure you're getting that correct surface finish for your application. Because hey, who doesn't want 200 extra horsepower?